What is going on guys? It's Bill with MaddenProdigy.com here to bring you guys another free Madden 23 money play. Today's tip, we're going to show you how to get easy one play touchdowns against cover two man, also known as two man under. And if your opponent comes out in any dime, quarters, or dollar formation and he runs two man under, cover two man, there's two different names for it, it's usually going to result in a one play one play score and if you guys haven't or don't know we've just released our Steelers stack attack offense and we've also if you just want to try this formation scheme out we also have this release and the formation that we're looking at is gun empty tray stack I believe that this is the highest powered offense in the game the reason why Number one, you can't blitz it. You think since it's a basically an empty set, you can't blitz it. You can't press it. If you do, you're going to get scored on almost every single time. If you run cover four drop, any kind of cover four, we have the best cover four one play touchdown hands down in the game from this formation. Um, one play touchdowns against cover two, cover three, any zone basically you can throw an easy one play touchdown and these aren't routes that take six years to develop either they develop quick and like i said if your opponent blitzes we demolish them and the good thing about this formation this has a tell you can actually come to the line of scrimmage in this formation and there's a certain tell that you can read any defense in the game so you're going to know what your opponent is in before you even snap the ball which makes makes it easy not only that, it's got the best two-point two point play or two-point conversion in the game. So if you really want to have fun and beat up your opponent, um, opponent, just click on the description and you'll see the links below. Or just join join our Patreon. If you join our Patreon, it unlocks all of our eBooks. And as long as you're a subscriber, anything in the future, as long as you're a subscriber. So now on to the, the tip. So the gun empty tray empty tray stack is the formation and a couple things we want to do we have two tight ends by default over on the right side both in the slots those are both tight ends if you do not have a a fast tight end you know 87 speed or above then you want to go to your packages and go to halfback stack that will put your number three wide receiver excuse me where he needs to be and you know just as long as it's eight, basically 85 speed or over you know the wide receivers usually have better agility so I do like to have a wide receiver there okay now on to the play the play that we're gonna going to call is fade out and we will run this against cover two man so to make this work all we're gonna do is put our tight end on a zig route and this is an easy tell just looking at um, cover two man You've got two high safeties your corners are down pressed um, on the wide receivers pretty easy to read so then we're gonna take um, our slot we're just gonna motion them over to the left and then it's optional what you do with the left side of the screen I have slot apprentice so I do like to put him on a crossing route because in this formation this route is absolute money your opponent basically has to use it to stop that route but that's not the route that we're really looking at in two man against two man under we're gonna be looking at R1 I'm just gonna snap the ball took a little bit too much time there wanted to bomb it as deep as I can didn't get it, but we'll do it again. If you guys didn't notice, he was wide open. The only thing that was on him was a safety that was playing his zone. So you're just going to pass lead that to the inside, a bullet pass, and it's usually going to result in a one play touchdown. What happens with this play? Since we put the tight end on a zig route, right here 
So you can see they both follow the, the zig route and that is just going to leave the wide receiver just pretty much naked for a pass lead to the inside and a one play touchdown. Basically it tricks the AI to where they both think that they have to cover the zig route. So once again, let's put the tight end on a zig, motion him over, do whatever you want to do with the left side of the field. And I could have stayed in the pocket and threw that a little bit deeper, but I just wanted to not take a sack. And that is that. Easy one play touchdown. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the tip. And like I said, please click on the link in the description to pick up one of our ebooks or join our Patreon. Thank you.